I wanted to document what I'm doing here. I'm making a cigar box ukulele. I'm going to combine a bunch of these videos together and make a whole start to finish uh, post down the road. My wife and I took a trip to Memphis a couple weeks ago and we passed by a cigar box store or a cigar store where they were selling cigar boxes in the windows. And a friend of mine, Eukster Brown, you can find him here on YouTube. Um, had built a cigar box ukulele out of actually a better box than this with like nice uh, double joints uh, dovetailed on the sides by Kiba. But this one appealed to me. Um, it's kind of funny with the Lunatic brand, but also it's such a big box. Now it did have, and you can see that I kind of ripped some stuff out there and I'll have to take care of that later, but it did have these like liners in it that kind of brought that up that the box closed on top of. I was able to remove most of that. I'll have to work on that one separately. But this edge here, as you can see, is loose. I'm going to have to glue that one too. But that's going to be okay. But I think this is a mahogany box. And um, it it resonates pretty well. Let's see if, if I can uh, get the sound that I was looking for. It's not working that way. But anyway, it, when I tapped on it, it seems to be pretty good. Now, it may be a little thick on the top uh, versus what you traditionally would want uh, for a box, but that's okay. This is gonna be my first build like this. And what I really like about it is the size of the body. Now, some guys will take these boxes and sand them down and get a, a much thinner top, but I think I'm gonna be okay with this one. Um, and if you take a look, this is a concert ukulele and this box is as big as a concert ukulele. So I ordered a concert neck, and it's deeper. If you can see that, it's deeper than a concert ukulele. So there should be some room for this thing to vibrate. And what I'm going to do next is I've also decided that I'm going to use the top as the, um, as the soundboard. Because the back isn't that impressive. I'll show you what the back looks like. And the back also has some ribbon damage down there. But this is the back, and um, this is the front. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put sound holes on it, like a, um, like a violin. And that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be uh, taping this on. Actually, I'm gonna cut these out first. I'm gonna tape it on, then trace what I need to cut out, and I'm gonna dremel it. Uh, the next phase, when the neck gets here, is I'm going to mount the neck. First, I'm going to put a support in here, and it may go all the way across, or it may just go up and down here. I've got to decide that. Uh, that's one of the things I have to decide. But when I do that, I'm going to put that support in there, and the neck is going to go first through on a dowel. And I'm going to connect it, and then there I'll, I'll screw it in as well, as well as glue it. And then what I'm thinking is running support all the way through the box, letting it be screwed in with a, a strap button on the bottom and running that all the way up to the neck. So it's one piece. Then I'm also thinking about supporting it on the side. So using like a piece of round wood, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna to use yet. Could be square too, but I think round might be kind of fun if you ever like look inside and see a, a round doll running all the way through. And then I'm gonna have to run some supports once I have those, those cut. Now the good news is I can run some supports just even using this mahogany wood that came with it. I can actually run some bracing. And then I also need to brace the, um, where the bridge is going to go, which I have not measured yet uh, and I don't need to until the neck gets here. Now again, with a ukulele, your distance from the edge of the nut to the 12th should be the same as the 12th to where the saddle is. So it'll be pretty easy to mark where that is. I'll be able to not only eyeball it, but actually take measurements and, and do that, and that will work out pretty well. So that's this project, and I'll make videos as I go along of the process. I just finished carving these F-holes into the box. They're not perfect, and um, that's okay. I don't think this box is gonna be perfect anyway. This plywood is pretty thick, 
I don't have a, a clean piece of it, but it's for sure at least as thick as that. And I think it's mahogany plywood, which is just fine because that's what a lot of other ukuleles are made of. But this is just a good attempt, I think, for a future project as well. So um, I went out and I drilled holes for the, the F holes and then used a Dremel tool and I couldn't quite control the Dremel tool the way that I wanted to. But I think for what I'm going for and for a rough build, this is gonna be good. The next steps are going to be waiting for the neck to arrive and figuring out where to mount the neck. The neck is gonna go level with this front and then the fretboard is gonna go on top into the lunatic here. So there should be plenty of space. The lunatic isn't quite centered on the box, which is um, interesting, but that's okay. That's, that's the way that it is. So figuring where the neck goes and planting the neck, I'm also gonna get rid of this little bit of extra plywood from this piece over here. Then I wanna brace over here for the um, bridge because it's gonna be a tie bar bridge that so I want it to be able to, to tie down and I think it'll even have screws. And I don't think I'm gonna go much thicker though than, than a piece of this. And I'm not sure if I'll go all the way across because I don't wanna dampen it. So probably a, a small piece in here that'll be the size of that. And maybe a couple other braces um, in here. And I think I'm gonna re-glue this corner. Then I'm gonna run one solid rod all the way down um, with a drilled hole for the neck plus two others. So the neck will generally be floating off of this front piece. So I'm not sure how that's all gonna work out. We'll see, we'll see how that all goes. And then I've got some reinforcement corners coming where I go on the corners. So really it's getting a dowel and a rod to go in here, I think, because I just want to support the shape of the box. And then when I'm all set, I'm going to glue the box, make sure that it's square when I, when I glue it. I'm going to glue it shut because um, it isn't going to be openable after uh, the hardware is on. So basically, it's mounting the neck. Now, I'm also not staining this. Um, again, this is a, a project just to see what I can do with it. This box was three dollars, and uh, that's that's the total investment so far. I think the fretboard and uh, neck were like ten dollars. The little corners were seven. The bridge with the nut and the saddle, I think, were eight. I'll I'll part out all of the the amount in a post that goes along with this. But this is now ready. Mostly, I can still sand it a little bit. Might get a special uh, file to do so because all I have are really my little um, nut files that aren't even really specifically for nut files. They're just uh, cheap eBay deals. And then of course my Dremel tool. They didn't cut with that. I was sanding with that. I cut with a roto tool uh, wood siding bit, and it went really fast. So that's where we're at with the build. Okay, for the next part of this build. I decided to stain the box. Originally I was going to leave it plain, but then I thought that it might need some protection. So as I finish the F holes as good as I'm going to get them, um, you know, just with uh, without any precision tools and um, they don't look horrible. They're, they're not perfect, but then again, this is a cigar box ukulele. But I decided I was going to stain it. So I'm using some Minwax Poly Shades that's uh, stain and polyurethane in one step because I don't want too thick of a coat. And again, this is not a professional production, but um, I'm, I'm applying a, a, a coat of that. And if you notice, I taped over the, the tape on the box because I want to keep that tape aesthetic going on the box and protect it so I can work around it. So, and you can see the color difference between the pecan there and then just the unfinished there and I think that's a that was a good decision to make and when the neck of the ukulele comes it's going to be very easy to connect it um, with that point so I'm doing the staining before the rest of it comes so that it's ready to go and then we'll be ready for the next step of the process okay so the staining is done 
And what I'm working on now is building some bracing in this box. Now, truthfully, as a plywood box, and you can see the plywood right there, I uh, probably wouldn't need to do this, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm reinforcing the corners. I cut a bit of dowel that I have found, a square dowel, and I cut those to reinforce the corners, and then they're also going to run along on the inside. I've got one hiding in here that actually I think, so I've got this one cut ready to go in between these two inside. And then the other thing I'm just working on right now is adding some bracing for the top. And um, I want to brace those two. So what I did is I took some more of that, that square dowel and I bought a rather inexpensive small planer and I've been planing it into that basic shape that I always see luthiers do. So uh, the idea is one would go to support there, one would go to support there. There'll be a support here for the bridge when it's all said and done. And I may run a sympathetic, I don't know, I don't know if I'll need any more bracing than just those two pieces. Again, now the top is significantly thinner um, in plywood, if you can see, than, than the side. So I wasn't wrong in, in the idea that the top was more resonant. The top is like one layer of the normal plywood. So uh, that's what we're looking at now in terms of the construction. And we'll see what happens when we put it all together. Still waiting arrival of the neck, but that's okay. I still have each one of these takes 30 minutes at least to glue in. Uh, with the clamping. So I'll have one, two, three, four, and do the top, five, six, seven, seven more of those to do, logically. And then I'll also have to uh, glue in these braces up here. And I'm not sure that the top will need much more bracing, although uh, I am going to have a block for mounting the neck up here and a block on the bottom for um, the, uh, you know, putting in a strap button. And then I think I'm gonna want run support in the center. It's gonna be overbuilt, but it's gonna be built in a way that shouldn't affect the resonance, whatever resonance there is going to be. So we'll give that all a shot. I'm looking forward to seeing how this next part goes. The build continues. Today, these came in the mail, so these little corner supports, and I didn't quite know which way they should go, if the long piece should be along the sides, but because I need access to the box, I couldn't have the longer edge uh, coming down the side. So I think that'll be all right. And then uh, again, I can stain just these spots in case somebody would look in and, and see the angle. So I, I want to make sure that those were covered. There's the two supports. The bracing will eventually go here for the bridge. There's the support for the headstock so I can screw into it. Also for the tailpiece, I could have made this one thinner, but that's the length of wood that I had. And again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this yet or not, but this piece is meant as a support that I can put a dowel in on one side and then screw it in on the other. But I'm not sure if it's gonna need that. The, the box is already uh, pretty heavy. So it's got a lot of extra support in it. Hopefully it sounds okay as a cigar box ukulele when it's all done. So next major things will be uh, installing the neck, installing the bridge when they come because they're not here yet. And then really shortly thereafter, deciding what to do next. I'm still debating whether or not I, I glue it all together or whether I leave it openable in the future. And I'm thinking about the idea of even attaching the fretboard, not with glue. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I, <laughs> it's, it's kind of a, a trick to see what I'm going to do. So. That's where the Cigar Box UK is. Okay, it's a great time for a checkup on the build of the Cigar Box ukulele. Basically, I've been waiting for parts. 
So the headstock came and I dyed that on the same color. Uh, the fretboard came with it, although I may have to order another fretboard. I was trying to make this equal with this piece was too long. I knew that for sure measuring it to my other ukuleles. So I am gonna have to see if I can still salvage this or if I'll have to buy another fretboard because I kind of uh, potentially messed that one up. They're very inexpensive, but still not good. Um, tuners are very easy to buy, except the company, I had ordered eight thankfully, and they sent me uh, two too few of uh, one side. So I have four of one side remaining because thankfully I bought eight. So if you're ever going to order tuners, order eight if you're going to get them um, online from like China. So they seem like they're going to work. Just normal closed gear tuners. You can see those on the back. How the neck finally got attached. When it came, I had a clue. So um, what I did was it had three screw holes on it. And in fact, you can maybe even see that there were, there's a couple screw holes right here that are supposed to be in the neck. Um, I had to move those back, but I had made a template. I actually, here it is right here. I set the neck on my scanner and scanned the neck and then cut out that pattern and then drilled the holes that I needed. So the original holes were these upper ones and the middle one. Now it has a hole in the back and the other two. Now what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is when this is already to be closed up, We'll do that and I'll glue all of this and in fact I'll even try to get some torque on the neck and glue the neck in place on the top there. And the next step will be to put on the fretboard. The bridge will already be attached and that's the last piece that I'm truly waiting for. So the bridge will already be attached and remember I have to put a brace on the back here. Now again this being plywood I might not have to do that. But this project has changed as I go. Now, again, I have no idea what this is gonna sound like what it's done, but that's okay. I, oh, and then I also put on the strap button. So unfortunately, it will no longer stand upright by itself, uh, but it will stand on the side. And I don't know if I showed these side corners that I put on the other day too. So it's coming along. It's looking good. At the very least, I'll have a nice conversation piece to have hanging on the wall or something like that. So that's the build. Okay, here's another little update of the build. I glued in this support piece for the bridge. And now the next step is gonna to be to glue the box together. Then after that, I was able to fix that top piece. You can see the line there. Next step will be to glue on the fretboard. And then when the nut and bridge arrive, it will be to uh, measure and make sure that well, it's going to be somewhere around here is where the saddle is going to be so it's going to be very 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 close to this and that will be perfectly matched on the back so that uh, these screws that probably will go on the bridge can go in there and this will be ready to go i've thought about drilling these out as well and adding one on the third and making those screws and screwing in the fretboard instead of gluing it in so that I don't have to glue this. And I may still do that. Um, and it might look kind of cool with, with screws, silver screws as a hardware on that. So that might be the next thing that I try. Okay, the fretboard is attached. And uh, this one is fakely driven out. There's a little bit of a crack here, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. And I decided that I wanted to do it this way so that I could take off the fretboard if I ever needed to get inside the box. So if you take off the fretboard and loosen the strings, you can still get in the box. Now, I don't know if I'll need more support than this, but this little part of the fretboard also stops the box from opening. And the neck's on nice and straight. So next step is nut, saddle, stringing it up and seeing what it actually sounds like. Okay, after a very long wait, the bridge arrived. And yesterday I glued it on, you can see that I initially had kind of put it in the wrong spot and I figured that out and I moved that down. And actually what you see there is kind of a sanding of that spot. So I might take a little stain and, and do that part over, I don't know. Um, it's an option. There's some scratches over here too, so uh, we'll see. 
but um, this is ready to be strung up now. Now, what's really interesting is that the company that sold me the bridge sold me a saddle and a nut for a guitar. And uh, it was supposed to be clearly for ukulele, and ukuleles have uh, generally four strings. Or if they have six strings or eight strings, they'll be in double courses, not a set of six. So that was kind of disappointing, but I did find a little bag of other nuts and saddles that I have kept from some other projects. And um, thankfully was able to find a, actually this one is a compensated saddle that will work for me. And I have not yet measured height and so forth. I'm about to do that in a second here as I put on the strings. And I found a nut that works with it too. So what I'm gonna do is go and string up this ukulele and hear what it sounds like. It might be awful, but hey, it's uh, it was worth the entire effort to try to put it together. It's just too bad it took so long. Hey everyone, uh, it's done. Here is the Lunatic Cigar Box Ukulele that has been featured in this long video. Now, I haven't had a chance yet to trim the strings. The strings have only been on about five to 10 minutes. It has a rosewood bridge that came from China, a compensated bridge that I'm not sure where it came from. I just had it, uh, a normal ukulele saddle, a generic fretboard that I accidentally cut and glued back together uh, screws as fretboard dots. I drilled out the originals and tried to get them in there flat so it shows where those are. I don't have any side markers yet. I thought about putting in tiny screws. Maybe I'll still do that. A uh, generic neck. It's just in a standard finish. It's a just a laminate box and I didn't think that this would result in much. It was just a fun build. But listen to this. Um, first, I'll tune it up again. My Joe Womb tuner. That's a G string. Okay. So the strings are still stretching, which is to be expected. Listen to that. It actually works, and the intonation isn't that bad. Here's the, the harmonics. So it worked out. Uh, one of the things that they had me do is, uh, my friend Pete Mai from Bonanza Ukulele suggested that the length from the nut to the 12th should be the same as the 12th to the to the saddle plus an eighth of an inch. And I didn't know whether to measure from the center of the nut. And originally I made a mistake and you can see that lighter piece in there where I had glued it too high and I realized it and I was able to get it off and move it down. I came back for a second measurement before it was completely dry and realized my mistake. I don't know what I had been measuring. I think the top line of the 12th. So I was in such a hurry after waiting for a month for the, the um, saddle to come in. So again, because these strings are stretching, just fair to the instrument to tune everything before I play it each time. Listen to that, it's not bad. picking.
So I am really surprised at how good th this sounds. I did not expect it. I thought it was gonna be a dud with no sound and I'm pretty pleased with this. So I'll try to put together a parts list when I do a blog post of this of the total costs. Uh, some of the more expensive things were the fretboard and neck, the tuners, the uh, little edges here were actually like eight dollars. The box was was three, strings were six, and realistically, you can buy a ukulele cheaper than you can build one, um, you know. But you can't buy a ukulele and say that you built it either. So that's kind of fun. So. There it is, the Lunatic Cigar Box Ukulele project, about a month and a half with waiting for parts from China, and it's done, concert scale, until I could have almost made a tenor out of it, so.